Today I have something special for you. The maiden voyage of a Tucker and Walter Vulcan boat. These boats were made quite recently by a small company. And they quit producing their mostly limited edition products uh, a couple of years ago. I think this one was made somewhere in the 90s. We'll have to check on that. These boats were, weren't really meant to be sailed. It's has a rather simple coal type engine. And most Tech and Walter products ended up as display pieces locked behind the glass. Here we have the famous logo I managed, managed it to uh, score it cheap on a famous um, trading site and I'm only missing two flags it stands and uh, certificate that uh, came with it so I have no clue which number this is in the production but I don't really care and I'm using an older type Velasco burner because the burner supplied was just a standard Velasco burner only with this uh, black handle and I made a little tray out of aluminium to protect the paint somewhat so I'll prime the boats now we have an hour later now and I burned up three pieces of S-bit and the boat refused to run. And I know why it is. Resco burner is way too large for such a small spiral. But for the sake of authenticity and so on and so forth, I had to try it with my S-bit burner. Which is quite a hassle to get it into the boat in the first place. But the coil keeps overheating and I can prime and prime and prime again but all it does is spit the water out in one violent uh, action and then it's still in the water again. Well, it's not very German like, not at all. Here's my Trusty one size fits all burner. It's just an alcohol burner with a uh, tiny flame. And it actually managed to do something. Something tiny. Something totally not impressive at all. Well, let's get it out. We screw it. No. Yep. A bit. No, it got heated, but it just refused to work. Tech and Walter, unworthy. Definitely unworthy. Okay, I guess not every video can be a success. Okay, hi. By the way, I pushed it. It's not really saving. Bye.